Well, it's been nine days now since we purchased the Gladiator and I'm really excited to finally get her out on the trail and give her a good test run. Today is gonna to be a lot of fun, guys. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today is really exciting because it is Amelia's maiden voyage. We've got my 2020 Jeep Gladiator and we're taking it off-road for the first time today, which is really gonna be exciting just to see how well it performs. I've also got my son with me who's behind the camera, and I've got my buddy Josh who's also got his brand new Jeep Gladiator, which he just lifted and put new tires on. So we're gonna see today how well the stock Jeep Gladiator performs and how well his performs. It should be awesome. Now we are in the Micah Gym Trail Trail. This is not a hard trail, but there are some good moderate technical areas where we should get a feel for how the Jeep performs. And I want to do this before I start doing some modifications to it, just so I get a good feel of how it drives in stock format. Now, uh, this was interesting getting ready for today because both Josh and I have not had these off-road and we're like, oh man, we got to get together all the stuff. So let me show you what we threw in the Jeep because it's important to remember when you go off-road for your first time that you take the right equipment. So let me show you what we got in here, guys. The first thing I did, and I did this late last night, is I wanted to make sure I had my navigation. So I installed the 67 Designs rail mount, and I've got my phone and iPad mounted in there, and that's going to work out really great. I've already got this trail mapped out. It's going to be perfect for me. And then here in the back, uh, I've kind of laid out everything as far as what gear we're taking. And so the first thing, and, and if you're new to the channel, uh, you maybe not know, but I was a corpsman in the Navy, and First aid is super important to me, guys. And so I have a uh, Blue Ridge Overland Gear first aid kit, and I love this kit because it allows me uh, to customize it the way I want. It's an awesome bag. It's got six, uh, four compartments in here, which I can put all my first aid gear. You need to have good first aid gear with you guys when you're out on the trail. It's so essential. Also, you want to make sure that you bring a fire extinguisher, which I have. And I already checked that Josh has got his too, but we'll take a look at the gear that he brought as well. I also have my toolkit, which hopefully we won't need because we got two brand new vehicles, but you never know. Uh, and if you want to see everything that's in this toolkit, I'll leave a link down below. We did a full review of this toolkit. Uh, we've got a couple gallons of water. We've got some radios for communication. And I brought a air compressor to air up and air down. Uh, we'll figure out some kind of permanent solution here soon, but this is just a portable ARB compressor. And then in here, we've got a a little charger in case we kill a battery. Again, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, I've got my Blue Ridge bag that's got all my air up and air down stuff. So we'll air down here in a minute. We're gonna, probably gonna go down to 15 PSI. We'll see how that works. I've got a tow strap. We've got some soft shackles. We've got a light. And I'm probably forgetting some stuff, but this should make it through the day. We should be all right. Let's go take a look at Josh's Jeep. Now this thing is on two inches of lift. So he installed the Mopar lift. He's got 37 inch tires and he put on some uh, bronze method beadlocks, which I think looks really cool with the black. And then I'm gonna let Josh talk really quickly about all the gear that he brought. Hey Brad. So as Brad said, the first thing I did was put the fire extinguisher in the cab. Simple medical kit, uh, trauma control bleeding from a group here in San Diego, Focus Research Group, with great products, uh, binoculars. If things go really south, 72 hour survival backpack. Okay, good to go. Uh, Jack, dead man off road uh, recovery, tool bag, air up, air down, and of course, the spare tire. Yeah, and you're running, you had to throw the spare tire in the back because you haven't figured out the mounting below. Have not. So technically, you got two spare tires. I do. Okay. Are you ready to hit the trail, dude? Let's I, go. God, I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. The Mica Gem Mine Trail is located in Yakima, California and is a trail I have ran many times over the years. I chose this trail to run first because while it's easy to moderate, there are some sections where I can get a feel for how the Gladiator's long wheelbase will handle a few obstacles. How she'll perform on some tight turns, some climbs and descents, and of course, get a little flexy. It wasn't long until we shifted into four-wheel drive, and I wanted to see what the off-road plus button was all about. And after pressing it, the off-road pages screen popped up, and you could instantly feel that the engine was running a little different tune. Later in the day when we shifted to four low, the off-road plus button changed the tuning dynamics again. Josh and I both agreed the Jeep performed well with the off-road plus button turned on. So the 
first time off-road with Amelia, man, it is definitely different. I mean, look, I love driving my JK, but there's some creature comforts in here that are really nice. But this long wheelbase is really making for a smooth ride. That was one of the things my son said right away when he was driving. He's like, wow, this is a lot smoother. And I agree 100%. It's definitely smoother out on the trail. It'll be interesting to see what happens when we put some larger tires on a little lift on here and maybe some adjustable shocks where we can soften it out a little bit more. But honestly, I'm loving the way Amelia's driving on the trail. This next upcoming section of trail is probably the most technical as you are on a steep hill and need to navigate a turn to driver followed by a drop off and then a turn to passenger with another step off. There are plenty of loose rocks that will make you slide a bit and tire placement is very important to keep from getting hung up. Now you can see here that Amelia rubbed her belly pretty good and this is due to the extra long wheelbase we're dealing with and the fact that I'm running stock. You can see as Josh makes his way down, he slides a bit like I was, but when he gets to the same section where I scraped, he doesn't have any issues rubbing his midsection. There is a bypass to this obstacle, but look, we didn't come here today to take an easy line. So Josh, uh, that lift and tires that helped you out back there, you didn't scrape. Overall, how's the Jeep performing for you? It's very familiar to the JL, to my JL. Um, however, letting the back axle drop into spaces takes a little longer because of the longer wheelbase. Uh, but it, so far, love it. Uh, nice. No complaints at all. And the lift and tires, I think, definitely have helped a little in some of those places we've been through so far. Brad, you've had a few minutes driving my Jeep. Just want to touch base and see your thoughts. Uh, I think it drives great. In fact, it doesn't feel any different on the trail. I mean, we're taller. Uh, we've got a bigger footprint on the tire, so maybe it's a little smoother. But honestly, it feels just like mine. It feels pretty stuck. That's awesome, man. Thanks for letting me drive your Jeep. Anytime. Okay, now my son was behind the wheel for this short rocky section and not to bust his chops too much, but this little scrape here could have been avoided by keeping tire placement on the tallest rock instead of trying to drive over them. It's a good lesson learned for all of us. Even Josh rubbed a bit taking the same line, so even lifted, that long wheelbase is something you just have to be aware of in the Gladiator. Slow is smooth when you're on the rocks. The 
this next section is one of my favorites on this trail. You are on a very steep descent, and as you near the bottom, you've got a few ruts and a bit of a V-notch that you have to navigate. If you want to flex that suspension and see if you're rubbing, this is a great spot to do it. My son took the perfect line and made it look easy. Nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Now here is a slight drop off and really a good comparison of both our Jeep's departure angle. We both cleared this little step off, but it was interesting to see just how close it was. In my Jeep Wrangler, a step down like this is something I wouldn't even give a second thought to, but it was something Josh and I were both consciously aware of all day long in our Jeep Gladiators. Probably one of my least favorite things about the Mycogen Mine Trail is you can expect to get some pinstripes along the way as there are plenty of bushes along the trail and some of them are just unavoidable. The turning radius of the Gladiator is actually pretty good, but the extra length of the truck is something I found myself acutely aware of while making this very tight turn. Even in my Wrangler, this is tight. But you can see here, I had to take a very high line just to make the turn without scraping my back end on that rock. Now, of course, I could have done a three-point turn and made it a little easier, but what fun would that have been? Not bad. Please do a three-point turn. Not bad at all. So I bypassed this little obstacle because I know there's no way I'd get over it without scraping. But Josh and I have both done this in our Wranglers with no problem. But he's going to give it a try with his 37s and 2-inch lift. We'll see if the breakover angle becomes an issue or not. Yep, just want to stay high. You got it. Yeah, that's it. That's the line. You got it. Oh, oh not bad. Just a little kiss. Way better than I thought. Me too. And you have both lockers on, right? Both lockers. Nice. Four okay. lockers. Image assessment. Now, I know you hit the frame rail on the other side. Where do you think you hit over here? Uh, looks like we got gas tank skid right here. 
And that's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. It has been an amazing day out here in the trail. I mean, just a beautiful day. And come on, two glorious gladiators back there. Uh, big thanks to my buddy Josh for coming out and bringing his lifted one on 37s because it gave me some ideas of what it's gonna be like once Amelia is on a lift and bigger tires, which we will be doing in the future. Uh, it was great to see how well they performed today. I'm very happy with it. Now look, uh, departure angle, breakover angle, turning radius, that was all a factor, but we were able to conquer the obstacles today, no problem. I'm really excited for the future trips that we're gonna take. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.